So people have been asking us how we come up with the material to actually do an episode on. And you know, back in the beginning of this, a year ago, I thought the same thing, man. How are we gonna be able to produce enough content to put out a weekly episode? Well, that kind of led me to think, you know, let's, why don't we give you guys a little tour of the shop and show you what happens on just a typical normal day and what kind of projects we have going on at all times. This is just a regular Thursday. Let's go take a look at what we got out here. All right guys, so here we are in the back of the shop. We're gonna walk through the wrap department first here to kind of take a look at what we got going on today. So to start off, we've got Massey, which is a pest control company based out here in Florida. They are our largest fleet account of any of our clients. We do approximately 500 vehicles every single year for these guys. They got 2,200 vehicles on the road right now and we've done every one of them. So that's a great client of ours. Now another great client of ours is Bass Pro Shops. Bass Pro Shops is a little bit different client because we wrap bass boats for them obviously these are for the tournament series this one is announcing bass pros new u.s open series this is a nitro z21 came in here on monday it's thursday it's out ready to go it's sitting next to this massive 35 foot donzy offshore boat is a center console that we wrapped about four years ago. The client brought it back in, we stripped the wrap off of it, and we're rewrapping it with something brand new. So it's uh, nice to show the difference of how we can change these boats quickly. Then over here we've got an IMSA Ferrari race car. It's kind of a crazy little wrap. They sustain damage all the time, so it's in here just now to get the back bumper rewrapped so it matches the rest of the graphics. Okay, so once we get past the Ferrari here, we're gonna go back towards the back of the shop here and we've got another pest control company. Pest control is huge for us. We do a whole bunch of different fleet of pest control vehicles because we're an equal opportunity wrapper. So this is our buddy Drake Pest Control. They do maybe two or three vehicles every single month. Then you could look in the back there, we've got a van that is a Florida Paints van. That's one of 19 that they're having wrapped. The rest are sitting in the parking lot. Then we're back here to Massey. So Massey drops off 12 vehicles on a car hauler every Sunday night. And then the next Sunday, they pick up the ones that we lettered up that week and then they drop off another 12. It's a continual cycle. Inside our wrap tent here, we got a super secret project. We can't you know, let you guys know what it is yet, but you're gonna find out soon. All I can say is it involves a high performance drift car. Coming over here we got, hey, get out of that booth. Don't, don't, don't be taking sneak peeks. Gotta keep that one under wraps, yeah, get it under wraps. All right, let's walk back over here a little bit uh, to see this boat over here. This is another nitro boat, a little bit smaller, but it's for our friends at the Black Rifle Coffee Company. So they do amazing YouTube videos as they're selling their coffee. We just wrapped this boat up for them, another rush project to get it done for a tournament they're having this weekend. We showed you the Bass Pro Nitro over there that was advertising their US Open fishing series. This is the Tundra that is pulling that boat. So that one showed up on Monday as well. So that bass boat, this truck, both showed up on Monday. It's Thursday, they're both ready to go. However, it wasn't alone. They've also brought this pontoon boat here that goes along with the whole advertising for the US Open National Bass Fishing Championships. However, this is a pontoon boat, and as you know from the Viking episode, there's all kinds of rails and stuff uh, uh, you know, that the boat is made of, so we have to drop individual pieces in, and the rails kind of interrupt the message. So to compensate for that, we sheeted this entire railing system of this boat with 063 gauge aluminum, a thin gauge aluminum, and made it the contour shape of the railing, and then we wrapped over top of that, so we hid all those railings and whatnot with the full surface advertising piece. So that's a nice little option to have a fabrication shop that can put down that aluminum, and then we come back and wrap it, and makes it a much nicer, cleaner project. And when they're done doing the promotion, they can just take these panels off, and it's back to the original boat again. Once again, this one, the Tundra, and that Z21 showed up on Monday. It's Thursday, they're all three ready to leave this afternoon. That was a quick view of just the wrap department. The wrap department is one third of our company. So the sign department is much bigger than the wrap department. So we're gonna go see that one next. Oh, and almost forgot, we're out in the parking lot right now and here is another wrap for another pest control company. I don't know what's going on with pest control. I mean, how many bugs are in Florida? 
a lot. That's why the pest control industry is so big here. This is for falcon lawn and pest. We did this tanker wrap earlier this week, and but this one's not just a wrap. Check out this crazy ant over here. They've also hired us to fabricate an ant like this to attach on one of their signs. But it's not just any ant. It's eight foot long, three feet tall. We're gonna build it in one of these next episodes, and we're gonna put it up on top of their sign. Okay, now guys, that was all the wrap stuff right there, but now let's go look at the Media One side of things when we get into some sign fabrication. Just turned the corner of our Adams Tech XP channel letter bender, and Kyle is over here using that machine to make a really great sign for our best client ABC liquor stores. It's Florida family owned, established 1936. They've been around since 36. The nation's oldest and largest alcohol distributor, ABC, and right here in Florida which they're a great client of ours. We do all their signs for them. As we walk back over here, we've got Alex over on this station and he's building another ABC sign. It's called Always Be Celebrating, get ABC. And it's on a hanging display that's in the shape of an S and it goes on the interior of the stores, front and back, so you can read, always be celebrating when you're coming in and when you're leaving. Let's go over here and check out Steve's station, see what he's got going on. Steve, what's this big giant letter here? This giant letter is for a project called SunTrax. And SunTrax is 480 acres in Auburndale, Florida, reserved by the FDOT, Florida Department of Transportation, and they're working on a autonomous test track that they were going to be leasing out to car companies, you know, Mercedes, Tesla, everything else, to test their autonomous cars. So in this property, there is a circle racetrack, there's some downtown buildings simulating uh, city driving, there's massive warehouses that have nothing snow, but sleet, snow, rain, sleet, wind, everything fog. that they could test these cars through, make sure that the autonomous vehicles can make it through the test. So we are doing three signs for them, an entry sign into the development, and then X sculpture, and then a portal sign. So this is one of the letters, one of the signs. It's giant. So that's 16 and a half inches deep. It's a custom channel letter. They all sit up on this little bench here. So this whole sign is 12 and a half feet tall by 25 feet wide. Check this portal sign out because this thing is 20 feet tall. 87 feet from end to end going over top of this roadway. And that T, that T is seven feet tall. That's gonna be ridiculous, right, Steve? Oh, and here's the other thing. So we got that entry sign, and we got this sign, and we had the X sculpture, which X sculpture is a 31 foot tall sculpture in the middle of a, of, a, of a rotunda in the middle of the property. And we have to have all three of these signs built and installed in the next five months? Five months. Crazy. I don't know how we're gonna do that. But you guys will watch every step of it. What else you got, Steve? Over here, I have things for Jeremiah's Italian Ice. All right, let's go check it out. So this blade sign represents their Italian ice glass, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. with ice cream in it. So that's great. It has a lot of curves, a lot of bends. Yeah, right. Look at all this stuff here. Lit on both sides. So yeah. this is a blade sign sits up on the side of the building, sticking out into the right out into the traffic. driveway or yep. whatever. Obviously, it's going to do. Wow. So what product did we use on this? Uh, we use nothing but Hanley LEDs. Hanley LEDs mm -hmm. to light that thing up. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, it looks great. Very even light throughout the whole deal. The face of this is a clear acrylic sheet, and then the graphics are printed on 3M clear vinyl twice. And we layer those on top of each other to give it a real nice, rich color. And then the back of this face is sheeted with a 3M diffuser film called Envision which allows 65% light transmission of those LEDs instead of a typical 25% mm -hmm. on a, if we used white acrylic. So it's new technology 3M's coming out with. It really makes these signs pop and, and super bright. Love it. And you're really not doing the sign much justice. What sign? There oh, we go. There you go. That's better. <laughs> What's this big thing over here? So I assume it's for Jeremiah's as well. Yeah, this has got an, the same bright lime yep, colors. Yep, this is a monument sign for Jeremiah's to go right out on the street. Okay. So this one's totally in progress. The two faces are in graphics. A few of the other items are in paint. Yep, I see those Hanley LEDs up in there again, the yes, P3 series. P3, yep. 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 And then this is acrylic that's pushed through the aluminum cabinet. So the cabinet is lit inside, but it doesn't let any light out because it's metal. So the only thing that comes out light-wise is these letters. Now they're sheeted in this black 
perforated material. It's the same stuff we use for the Amazon letters. It's a 3M product called dual color film. That means it's black in the daytime, but at nighttime, it lights white. Yeah, so what's the shape of this thing here? It's kind of funky. You got mm -hmm. all these curves. That... This is the Jeremiah's frog head. A frog head? Yeah, so that's, Jeremiah's that's their logo. frog is their logo, yes. right? Those little bumps at the top are his mm -hmm. beanie little eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, even on this it shows Oh, yeah, it. yeah, it shows it yeah. right here, right? Here's their frog face. Yep, so there's the frog face. Nice. I love it. And on our way to the paint department, we're coming by Derek's table here, and he's actually working on one of those Jeremiah frog faces that we were just talking about. He's putting a little trim cap around it so that it'll attach and hold around the sign. And once again, this is that clear acrylic with the 3M Envision diffuser on the back, double layer clear prints on the front so it makes it nice and poppy. Yeah, and so now you guys can kind of see, you looking at this vantage point, how the shop lays out. We got the wraps up in the front there. As we're coming towards, we just went through fabrication and now we're gonna walk over into the paint shop. And here we are in the paint department, guys, and as if wrapping all those boats down there in that section wasn't enough. We also offer full custom paint on race boats, any kind of boat actually. And so here we are, Renee's working on this 43 foot velocity offshore race boat. It's brand new from the factory. It still needs the windshield, all the interior, all the motors on the back, but this boat was bright white when it came to us and they hired us to paint it Lamborghini orange, which is a ridiculously expensive color. If you have never researched it, there's about $6,000 worth of liquid product on this boat. So final buff on that, make it all nice and shiny, perfectly smooth, and it goes back to the factory to get finished up for the customer. Up next for us is a 32-foot Velocity. It's actually an older boat. It's getting an old wrap taken off of it, and then we're going to sand it all down and custom paint this boat. So this guy is changing from a wrap to a custom paint because he wants something a little bit more permanent he's going to live with forever. All right, so here's our booth over here. As you guys know from our other episodes, it's a brand new pressurized booth. It is 11 feet tall and 34 feet long. Giant booth. However, we're painting 43 foot boats. Who did? I mean, who'd have thought the 34 foot booth wouldn't be enough? So, thanks to our friends at Standard Tool and Equipment, they sent us a brand new six foot extension that we're gonna put on the back of the booth, complete with lights and everything. So uh, as soon as we can get uh, everything out of there and we can actually build it bigger, we're gonna add an extension to make the booth that much bigger. All right, and then to wrap the tour up, here we are in the back corner where we have our seven foot by 13 foot CNC multi-cam router table. Dominic Ream, Rick Ream's son, he runs this machine for us and this machine feeds the entire rest of the shop. Everything begins here. He cuts metal, wood, plastic, any type of things that we need to fabricate with and then it's all computer driven, everything's identical and the guys go to work on fabricating it. Cannot run a sign shop without one of these machines. If I ever sell this company, I'm gonna have one of these in my garage. I'm not sure what Christy's gonna think about that, but I mean. Do you guys remember this episode a few months back, right before we moved into the shop and this entire building was completely empty? Oh my God, look at this place now. Well, I hope you guys liked this episode on a day in the life of Media One and Wrap This. I know it looks crazy, but next week's episode is going to be absolutely insane.